What's up, fam? It's your boy Z Dog MD. I am PO'd. Tom Heinerber, why am I PO'd? Z, because there are these terrible people in the world called anti vaxxers and they want babies to die of rabies. Dead babies. And That's also why. scabies. Does scabies kill? Yes. Mm. Scabies, rabies, dead babies. I'm so mad right now. Let me tell you why, guys. Because I just got an email from the equivalent of a Nigerian prince down on their luck. And in fact, it was an anti-vaxxer pretending to be a scientist, pretending to put on a debate about vaccines. Now, normally I get private emails. I never share them publicly because that's a jerk move, right, Tom? Like, you won't do that. Normally. You know what else is a jerk move, though, Z? Uh, killing babies. Yes. So given that killing babies as a jerk move is greater than me reading this woman's email to you, ZPAC, I'm gonna go with reading the email in the hope that we can prevent dead babies. Dead babies, deaf babies, injured babies, maimed babies, sick adults, sick children. That's what we're trying to do because of science. That's right, science. 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 All right, this is what happened. This morning I opened my emails. I got 100 plus emails like I always have. I scanned through real quick to try to separate the cheese from the Nigerian princes, from the chaff, from the wheat. And yes, I said wheat. <laughs> um, and this is what I got. Dear Dr. Demania, AKA Z Dog. Okay, first of all, this person left the MD off the Z Dog, which to me is an insult. I didn't go to four years of evil Z Dog medical school to be called Z Dog. I'm Z Dog MD. We are reaching out to you because we are organizing a live public forum slash debate on vaccines and are currently putting together the ProVax team and thought you may be interested in participating. We are very familiar with your videos and believe you could bring some great energy and knowledge to the event. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If there were such thing as a debate about vaccines. Or a ProVax team. Sounds like there's just smart people and idiots. Yeah, that's the, it'd be team has a brain and team <laughs> other. Uh, <laughs> I just clicked the other box for that. So let's keep reading, let's keep reading. And then I'm gonna tell you what's up here. Our goal is to take the proverbial elephant out of the room and create a nonpartisan opportunity for the experts on both sides of the vaccine debate, debate, both sides of the debate. First of all, what does politics have to do with the vaccine debate? Zero? Not much. I'm confused. Hillary Clinton wants to kill babies. That's all I know. Steve. Exactly. Uh, actually, you know, both, both conservatives and liberals are anti-vaxxers. So they're equal opportunity dumbasses. I'm part of the Green Party, though, Z, just so you know. The Green Party uh, believes in uh, vaccinating against um, capitalism, which is a, you know, immunogenic. I don't even know what we're talking about. Let's keep reading. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, on the vaccine debate to hash out all conflicting information and engage in a respectful and informative conversation for the purpose, for the purpose, okay, read this line carefully, for the purpose to help educate the public in making informed vaccine related decisions. Do you want to know how I educate the uh, public on making informed vaccine related decisions? Yeah, the science on vaccines has been settled. They are safe and effective. Get your vaccinations on the schedule recommended by the Center for Disease Control. That's what the education is. Z, you don't mean the Center for Disease Prevention and whatever? <laughs> oh. Because they, they have a really the cool disease, leader. Disease reversal and what something, was something. What was, the, what was the thing? What was oh, name, we, Z? We're getting to that. Just right. wait. So here it comes. We are aiming to have our debate take place in late May 2018 in the Atlanta area. Close to the CDC, of course, because of course. Um, however, we are currently working. Now, by the way, how many people here, if you got this email so far, would go, oh, this is clearly uh, my spider sense is tingling and I don't want anything to do with this. I think many people on the science side, on the reason and, and logic side would be like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe we can educate the public about vaccines. I'll tell you why that is absolutely wrong. And as you keep reading, you will see what I mean. But even if you didn't keep reading, you have to understand there's a, there's a term called false equivalency. That means the, that you give a platform to opinion 
rather than fact, and you treat it as equivalent to fact. So there are two sides to a vaccine debate. No, there isn't. It has been settled. There is one side. Vaccines are safe and effective. Sure, they can have rare side effects, but they do not cause autism. They do not cause all the things that, we're talk that the anti-vax people are talking about. That is no longer a debate. So by saying it's a debate, you're immediately, it's usually an anti-vax trope. It's a, it's a way they get into your head. And they say, oh, here's the debate, and we want you to educate. No, by giving them a platform, you've already lost the debate because it, the debate doesn't exist. You're admitting that there's another possible truth, but there isn't because it's been studied and laid to rest. In fact, there were just recently an article confirming again, looking at it saying vaccines do not are not associated with uh, causing autism. All right. It's like, it would be like as if I wanted to say, uh, you know, a lot of people think that the sun is dark and cold. And just because you're all over here, Mr. Science, thinking it's a hot ball of fire in the sky that produces a lot of light and gives life to the whole solar system. I, that's, we need to have the debate. We need to have the debate, Z Dog MD. You know, there's two sides to every sun is hot <laughs> idea. Like, sure, the sun could be cold. And here's what that Listen, side would sun's tell. Not, sun's not hot. Sun's ne not hot. Never hot. Never hot. <laughs> Never hot. Sun's not hot. Even in the sun, I'm not hot. <laughs> The girl told me, take off my jacket. I said, girl, sun's not hot, never hot. Uh, <laughs> what the other side in that debate would tell you, Tom, is you prove to me the sun is hot. You show, it, the burden of proof is on you to tell me the sun is hot, not on me to tell you it ain't hot. So that's what the anti-vaxxers do. Let's keep reading. We are aiming to have our debate take place. Okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, we're waiting for venue confirmation and we are currently working with several universities, colleges. We have been in communication with experts on both sides, like there are two sides, and currently have <laughs> confirmation of their participation from, are you ready, drum roll, please? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. 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 He's a Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy. He's also a known anti-vax quack, quack, quack. Not a doctor, doctor, doctor. He's a lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. Also, his brother did Chappaquiddick. <laughs> I have no idea if Ted Kennedy was his brother, and I don't even know what Chappaquiddick is, but it's fun to say. The next one, Del Bigtree. Do you know who Del Bigtree is? He is the producer of Vaxxed, another documentary directed by Andrew Wakefield, who is no longer a doctor. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Informed, con uh, uh, so, so, so Robert Kennedy is of the World Mercury Project, which I assure you is not a tribute to Queen's former frontman. Um, Del Bigtree is of the Informed Consent Action Network. Who even knows what that is, but it sounds vaguely awesome. Uh, and, oh, here we go, Dr. Tony Bark. Tony Center. Stark? No, 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 Logan, you got it wrong. Oh, Tony oh, Bark. Tony Bark. Yes. Oh, oh. Tony Bark, Who's a doctor <laughs> of naturopathy. See, I don't think uh, you're spelling doctor right. She's not a doctor. She is not a doctor. She is a naturopath which as you know, my feelings on that, not a doctor, all bark, no bite. Wait, Literally wait, bark, wait, show wait. me the bark. bark. She's all bark. <laughs> She's all bark. So on her website, Dr. Tony Bark, which she calls the Center for Disease Prevention and Reversal. So first of all, I think the CDC should sue her because that, that, that's pretty close. Uh, <laughs> she, is, she has a master's in homeopathy or a diploma in homeopathy, which is like having a degree in nothing. It's like the more meaningless the degree is, the more powerful it is. Like something about homeopathy. So I, I have an attendance record in homeopathy. I, 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 I showed up for the classes, but I never graduated. I got a master's in basket weaving. That's, That's right. amazing, actually. Yeah, I crushed you. basket. I took AP thing. basket yeah. weaving. Um, so we also have interest from several well-known leading doctors and scientists who have asked to keep their names confidential until confirmation of a date and a neutral venue. Leading doctors and scientists who want to keep it confidential because they don't want to destroy their lives by saying they're anti-vax or they're just leading her on uh, being polite because the email is very polite. So they probably replied like, sure, tell us when you have a venue and we'll love to debate this non-debate. So, however, I can say that one of the individuals interested on the pro-vax side is the dean of a well-respected medical school. Okay, I will give $1,000 if this dean of the well-respected medical school actually shows up to the sham debate. Okay, I'm saying that publicly now. Or if he's actually a dean of a well-respected medical school. I believe maybe oh, he's real. the dean of a medical school. Nah. You know, medical Hogwarts school. school of Witchcraft and Medicine <laughs> is established in, in Antigua. Homeopathy yeah. school. That's, Homeo that's, that's right. Yeah. It's so dilute in terms of training <laughs> that it's actually stronger as training. So, 
let's see. He, so, oh, oh, this is the best part. Here it comes. We are also in the process of setting up meetings with several celebrities to potentially moderate the event. So let me understand this correctly, Logan. The celebrity is going to take off time from being a full-time vaccine researcher to come and moderate this event. Is that right? They have a full schedule, Z, of uh, studying stuff and things. They've done their research. It's time you did yours. Uh, so the truth is, there's only one doctor on the anti-vax side. His name is Dr. Google. And <laughs> that's who you would be going against. Him and Dr. Dre, because ever since Dre sold Beats and he became a billionaire, he effectively turned white and now is anti-vax. <laughs> Have you noticed the only people who, where is this, this email comes from Woodland Hills, California. Which is white, right next people. to Calabasas, which is where the Kardashians live okay. and where I'm sure people aren't vaccinating their children. I make so much money now that I need to invent problems and debates because I want to like, oh, it gets better, it gets better. Here we go. Our goal is to have a neutral venue host the event so who is neutral about vaccines? <laughs> um, Switzerland, the Swiss. The Swiss. <laughs> I don't so know. Like, yeah, we, we, we are neutral about the vaccines, yeah. Some uh, of us think very good, others are not so good. Or, right. you know, we right can, in the middle. We're right in the middle of being smart <laughs> and also not smart. Um, I don't know what kind of accent that was, but it was not Swiss. So to my Swiss colleagues, deal with it. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you invent a better accent that's more memorable? Um, our, okay, so neutral venue, as well as secure a well-known neutral celebrity moderator, i.e. Dr. Oz, because he's neutral because he's an idiot, um, or even someone who errs on the side of pro-vax. It's an error, Tom, to be on the side of pro-vax. <laughs> to err is... Uh, to err is Zubin. Is Zubin. <laughs> to vaccinate dangerous to your children because of the autisms. Uh, it gets better. Our vision is to invite all national, local, and internet media, internet media, to the event while live streaming this epic opportunity to the masses. All participants will be briefed in the preferred respectful goals of the format of the event. Hashtag, or uh, asterisk, name, name calling and outright hate take away from the caliber of the information. <laughs> she basically sunk the entire anti-vax movement in one sentence. That's all they have. ZDog MD is a pharma shill. Really? Go to the Sunshine Act webpage and see what comes up. One entry from Abbott, AbbV, when I did a talk for their people to teach them about Health 3.0. That's what I get paid from pharma once. All right, here we go, keep going, keep going. The proposed form, okay, the rest of it's garbage. Now here's the best part. <laughs> it's signed sincerely. Dr. Shannon Croner, K-R-O-N-E-R, -E and Brittany Vallis. Okay, so we went to Dr. Shannon Croner's webpage. She is a doctor of clinical psychology. That's as close to immunologist as I can imagine. That's basically a pediatrician as far as I'm concerned. What do you think, Tom? I'm gonna have Logan pull it up, but she also has some information on there about what you should be telling your children about vaccines. Should we uh, cut to the chase on this? Hold on, Logan's got to queue it up. Oh. But I'll tell you this, I am so sick of these people who are spreading bad ideas. Just because you're stupid, it doesn't give you the right to spread bad ideas, all right? You know, it'd be like, if you were horny, you can't just spread AIDS. That's not how it works. <laughs> I've got um, a website ready, Z. Okay, Brian <laughs> King, by the way, along those lines says, why do you even entertain the lead paint chip eating waterheads? Brian King, you call them that, so I don't have to, okay? What's her website? What's the Shannon Croner, Dr. Shannon Croner? Oh my, she's got a ruler. Oh, which, it's by a the baby way, who's scared of a needle. Oh, that's not suggestive at all. Yep, and uh, vaccine information. So it turns out Shannon Croner, for her clinical psychology doctorate dissertation, did a tome, which I've read the intro to, which basically purports to teach parents how to make informed and educated decisions on vaccines. In other words, how to effectively deny vaccines. And the entire intro to the thing is about how potentially dangerous vaccines are and how controversial it is and how it's a big debate in the medical community. Wrong, wrong, wrong. In fact, someone should take her doctorate away because it's based on a fundamentally incorrect and factually incorrect premise, which is that there is a debate about vaccines. The only debate is between celebrities and other celebrities and then poor moms who are in between trying to figure out what to do, who are afraid and are trying to make decisions. So Shan Dr. Shannon Croner, as an expert in vaccines, because you wrote a doctoral thesis on how to avoid vaccines, I am going to take your email invitation 
and I am going to do what any normal, rational, logical person would do. Crap out of it. Because that's horse crap, people. There's no debate. Anyone who says there's a debate is trying to sell you something. Her whole website is about how to homeschool kids on how to avoid vaccines. There's a section on there on vaccines. A clinical psychologist has no business telling parents about vaccines. That's what your pediatrician is for. That's what scientists are for who study and work all their lives to save children's lives. It's not for some rich psychologist in Woodland Hills to tell you about. You wanna have a debate? Come here and debate me and I will rip you a freaking new one. I got a little, I got a little upset. Well, that's going to be a meme on the anti-vax message boards when you rip it up. They're going to say, do you want this man with a bad temper to, to treat your children? First of all, he's not a pediatrician, people. All right. Second of all, I'm on your stupid message board. You idiots let me in. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. It's the best thing. Tom is all over the anti-vax boards and he watches everything they post about. Here's the best part. So. So Joseph Mercola's wife or girlfriend or hippie spouse, whatever they call them now in the homeopathic world of weirdness, uh, posted about me and said, have you seen this guy Dog MD? He said something mean about Joe in a meta emoji thing, but Joe watched it and thought it was hilarious. And I was like, well, Joe seems pretty cool to me. <laughs> What do you think? Dude, I infiltrated the boards and this woman was like, is it okay to have my bamboo plant close to my Himalayan salt lamp? And I got on and I was like, oh my God, no, it is not okay. What do you think you're doing, lady? You gotta move that plant at least six feet away. And she was like, oh my God, I'm so glad you told me about this. And I got this <laughs> chick to move her plant all over her apartment. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is he explains it in this really pseudoscientific way and she bought it hook, line, and sinker. I was like, well, you know, that based on a Norwegian study, uh, actually, out of, out of, it was Finnish, it was out of you know, Finland, um, there, there, there was a radius area, you know, think about it like an overlapping Venn diagram where there's good energies and bad energies and bad energies and good energies. And if, if, if the Venn overlaps, they spew energies out and those are bad. But if they're, if they're in proper harmonious sync, then they're good energies. And that's how it works. And the best part is he said, don't try looking up the study because it's behind a paywall. So, <laughs> and you know, these people are cheap as, Fudge. They're just gonna be like, well, paywall. Well, then I'll just take this guy's word for it because he's on the internet. <laughs> Therefore, is an expert. <laughs> let's let's read some comments. Oh, by the way, so some of the other people. Oh my God, that she listed in this thing. So this is this is again the bottom line is this is this is false equivalency that the anti-vaccine movement tries to generate that doctors and clinical psychologists who know nothing about vaccines except they did a, a dissertation on how to avoid them uh, are equivalent in some kind of debate that Dell Bigtree and Robert F Kennedy Jr are somehow the the same as uh, you know Dr Paul Offit who studies and develops vaccines and that profit motive is what wrecks everything on the pro vaccine side except that everyone on the anti vaccine side is either trying to sell you a book or supplements or tanning beds or their clinical psychology services so it seems to me guys that Dr Shannon Croner and who is her friend Melissa Tony Bark? Tony, yeah, Tony Bark. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like you're, it's, you're destined to become a homeopath. <laughs> when your name is Bark, it's like, let's call her Tony Bark. It's like naming your kid Jeeves. Jeeves, and he gonna be a, a butler. butler, yeah. Gonna be of a course, butler. Of course, of course. There's no getting around it. How so could he be anything but? I think, guys, we stop listening to the Tony Barks of the world and start listening to people who do science for a living. Um, who actually care about your children deeply, who aren't motivated by fear, but are motivated by actual learning and knowledge and study. And we care about your kids. Um, we don't get money from big pharma, at least here at ZDog Industries, I'll tell you that much, because I wish we got some damn money. And Amber Me uh, Metzger says it best, get your kids vaccinated. We do not need a massive polio outbreak, which is making a comeback because of the anti-vaxxers. Not polio so much, but measles for sure, mumps, all this ish, pertussis, coming back because people are whack, because false equivalency, because the media gives them a platform, and we here at ZDog Industries say, hell to the naw. What do you think, Tom Heineberg, are we out? Guess what, just because you spent five minutes on Google and you think you got it figured out, Sharon, uh, that's just a fictional person I'm making. <laughs> and it's a dude. <laughs> Listen, you're not special. You didn't figure out anything. There's no secret knowledge. Your life is meaningless, and you're an idiot. That's another way to spin it. Um, <laughs> On that very upbeat note, <laughs> this is this. You know what? All oh, seriously, this is why the pro science side always loses. We don't motivate the hopes and dreams. We're like, yeah, it's all pretty much a nihilistic void. Prepare to be autistic for no reason.
<laughs> that's literally what we do. And then that's, we wonder why the, like, people go to Tony Barktree. Guess what? Life sucks and we're all gonna die, people. You know what? You said it, man. Vax. Vax. Because otherwise you're gonna die and then it's a nihilistic void. What? Vaccinate already. Tony Bark! That's my girl! What's up?